So I was really, really excited this morning when this newly released Sandpiper 3800 RK showed up here in Meridian, Mississippi. This thing has a really unique layout on the inside, plus the storage is just really outstanding. But what has caught my attention is the fact that you have a 44 foot camper that's leveled from a four point fully automatic leveling system. So we are gonna get this thing completely set up. I'm gonna show it to you from the inside and then come out. And we're gonna go inside and kind of give it a little shake just to give you my point of view from this thing, even though it's been on the market for several months now. But I'm a very small dealer here in Meridian, Mississippi, so it takes things a little bit to make its way to me. But if you're new here, I do welcome you to the channel and let's get started. So let's go ahead and get you all inside this new Sandpiper. Again, it came out probably about four, maybe five months ago. Model number 3800 RK with its own designated laundry room. How cool is that? So coming inside, absolutely beautiful RV. The main body, the main coach, without the slide outs right here, 96 inches wide. You've got four total sides on board and two of them are right here between your designated living and kitchen area absolutely stunning let's get you guys turned around to view more additional photos you can always look down in the video description I always try to leave a link to my website where I list all the additional photos of this coach you'll also find the available pricing for the coach as well I'm going to show you that at the end of the video as well though so two opposing slides right here this one over here is gonna be a sleeper sofa and this is gonna be your reclining area if you wanna watch the TV. Nice big flat screen television there. But what's your opinion? This is your view whenever you're sitting to watch TV. You gotta look kinda of off to the half left. And the same, this is your Thomas Paine collection furniture. This will be your view if you're watching the television there. So you do have two sources of heat on board. This is an all electric fireplace that does produce about maybe five, 10,000 BTUs of heat. But of course you have the designated floor vents all the way throughout the floor. That heat will be coming from the propane 40,000 BTU furnace on board. Check out the pretty cool little desk over here. All of the cabinetry on board also has some upgrades. Soft closed latches all the way throughout the coach, not just in the kitchen. You'll also find them in the bedroom as well. And might I add, quite a very nice view panoramic windows your slide boxes are also going to be right at i think it's six foot eight six foot seven not going to really have to worry about hitting your head once you're standing over at your dining area check out your kitchen pretty nice wrap around waterfall island right there you've got three additional chairs and i do apologize i have not had the opportunity to really get this thing set up i was out here just starting to get my pictures for the website and the leveling system kind of caught me off guard a little bit. So I wanted to grab my camera and really give you guys the view. So here we go. I'm shaking this thing and I'm, I am freaking 237 pounds of just luxury right now. This thing is not moving. So the engineers have obviously done a really, really great job. So there's my view from it. You see the four point leveling system. I get questions often about the Sandpiper product like, how well is this system? I mean, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be strong enough to really hold this thing in place. I think you did a pretty great job. This is gonna be your fridge, 12 volt fridge. Refrigerators on the top, you got two different freezers on the bottom. We also have tire pressure monitoring system coming with the Sandpiper this year. Two different freezers. I love the farm style sink, the way it wraps over the cabinetry right here. For messier people like people like myself, I'm always splashing water over. Single basin undermount sink, residential faucet, solid surface countertops to get wraps all the way around. Your backsplash is not a tile, it's more of a plastic substance. Check out the oven, Furion oven, pretty big. I like the top grates. These things are pretty massive and heavy. This is not a convection microwave. Probably around 31 inches across stainless steel. All of your cabinetry, soft closed latches, look at that. Glass accent. 
I also like the additional lights up above the crown molding up there. I'm not liking the, the table setup though. I feel like they could have done something different. What do you guys think? I like the waterfall island though. That's kind of nice, but I don't know. To me, the living area, I, I'm not a person that want to look off to the side. So that's probably like one of my biggest downfalls right now, this whole entire layout. Some of the controls for your slide operation, your tank monitoring station are gonna be right here. But let's look at your designated laundry room. So this thing, I've got my own little idea, but this is pretty cool. Right off of the hallway, before you go upstairs. Lots of storage, extremely high cabinetry. Check this out. If you are a pet lover, you'll probably like that. That's also on a soft close. Maybe some, I don't know, you can get creative with this. Maybe for a cat litter box or maybe for your pet's food. But here's my idea. So this is a, it's a couple's coach. Your bathroom, of course, is gonna be all the way in the front. So if you have guests over, which there could be a possibility, you know, they're gonna have to go all the way through. But look at the size of this room. If you were to turn this into a stackable and maybe put a half bath in here, I think you could probably even do it right where you could even include a sink. I think that would make this thing a little bit more unique. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. So it's a pass-through bed bedroom going into the bath with a walk-in closet. This thing's huge, 44 feet in length. Two more opposing slides right here in the bedroom, which gives you so much more changing room. We're probably talking, and I'm terrible with measurements, so one, two, maybe three and a half feet of total length right there. Let me back up and show you your view if you're lying in the bed. Lots of storage. Let me open one of these up for you. Solid wood all the way through. Soft closed latches, latches and there is your TV connections right over here. Blackout shades all the way throughout the RV. And this is gonna be a 72 by 80 king size bed some kind of blue foam that might sleep a little bit better than some but this is typically the first thing that goes on a lot of coaches is this mattress look how thin that is there's your storage underneath and this is going to be a grill that will mount on the outside i'm not going to open it up for the video but there is a mount on the outside of the rv just for your grill so this is also cool i like this you have a shelf on both sides of the bed and under the shelf, different type of outlets. You got 110, you got your USB plus the USB-C now, since that's what all the new devices seem to be going to. And you have a breeze window on all sides of your slide out right here. So let's go ahead and make our way to the bathroom. Ceiling height upstairs, I should have pointed that out. I'm six foot two, and I possibly have at least four or five inches over my head right now, so plenty of ceiling height. Except for right here, I'm, I'm close. Stepping inside, so porcelain foot flush toilet, I should have backed up and showed you your view first. Pan you around, really big bath, toilet, porcelain foot flush toilet. I would have liked to maybe seen solid surface countertops continued maybe into the bathroom. It would give it maybe a little bit more character. Accent light behind the mirror. What's up guys, continue to like and subscribe. Turn some lights off and on. I like the seat now that's being finally added to the Sandpiper model. Really nice shower. This is a one piece fiberglass shower. Man, that would be a challenge to get out. This is your vent. That would be a challenge to get out in the event that there was a problem. So this is pretty cool. So check that out. Walk-in closet, so your dimension. So dimension-wise, you're probably at maybe four and a half feet across, at least maybe three and a half feet deep. Really, really nice size. Of course, full profile unit, so you're not gonna have to worry about your ceiling height. You can do this like a his and her side. This could be her side, his side. Pretty unique unit. Well, honestly, this would be her side, and that's gonna be my side. Overall though, I really like the new layout that Sandpiper has come out with 
minus a sitting room right here. I'm not a fan, like I said, of looking off to the right over this way just to watch the television. What do you guys think? Let me know in the video comments down below. I am excited to see that it doesn't rock like I would ex was expecting with a 44 foot long fifth wheel. Let's take a look at our MSRP. So at date and time of making this video, maybe you can pause the video and read this. 99,162 and of course our sales price. If you like that I showed your sales price also, give me a thumbs up. Many YouTubers do not show that. I don't know why. And many dealerships actually sell you the MSRP. So look into that also. So let's step outside and go over a few things here. Again, to view more additional photos, you can find the link in the video description that takes you to my website where I post all the additional photos as well. So let's look at the actual specs of the RV and break it down to the T. So this camper is going to be coming in at 44 feet, one inch of total length. Has a dry weight as it currently sits, minus the propane tanks, of course, of 13,003 pounds. You've got a gross vehicle weight rating of 15,500 pounds. You're riding on 7,000 pound axles, E-rated tires, and you've got right at 2,438 pounds of available cargo capacity, which that's actually quite impressive with the amount of cargo that you have. I do recommend trying to pull this thing with at least a one ton or larger because it's extremely long and extremely heavy. I always tell customers to expect that upper number of the 15,000. Never look at that dry weight. I know your, your half ton's not gonna safely tow this one. Pretty standard Rhino box on the front. This is your docking light switch right here. You're probably not gonna be able to see them, but these things are absolutely beautiful at night. Fully molded fiberglass front cap, and I like the way Sandpiper wraps around this. Almost 12 inches, bringing that seam back, because the reality of things, when it's raining and you're driving, that wind's gonna hit that seam the closer it is up here. So it is blindside camera print for several different cameras. This is a Furion system. It is a plug and play and it's very simple to upgrade yourself. So if you're looking to maybe save some money, looking at maybe doing that yourself just to save a few pennies. Front baggage compartment is about an inch thick, which holds your spare tire. And there's your battery pre-installed from the factory. That's also the, that's about a 25 to 30 foot power cord, 50 amp service. Let's come around and show you the controls for the leveling system. And I'll try to leave the hitch weight also about here. So all the controls to level the RV are found in this very massive pass-through compartment. So there's several things going on in here, so bear with me just one second. But right over here, fully automatic leveling system, really simple, of course, just press auto. It's gonna level itself, and ready, whenever you're getting ready to actually leave, you can actually hold the retract button down, which is gonna retract every single landing leg on the coach. Very simple, very easy, and there's the instructions as well. On board the coach, you have a solar panel on the roof. This is going to be your solar panel monitoring system. It prevents the battery from overcharging or undercharging. Of course, your lights, battery disconnect switch, radiant foil wrapped on all of the floors, and there's the floor joist. Dimension wise, I measured over there, and that's about six and a half feet across, and probably two, two and a quarter, right up, you know, height wise plastic little lip there for maybe some tools to toss in there you have the tankless water heater and this is all the controls so whenever you get your camper in place you got it nice and level you got the power cord plugged in you're going to then place your water line through the floor connecting to city water or maybe you're for cleaning out your black tank flush you got the inline filter and there's a light switch for a light up top so there are pull handles for your sewer system in different locations this of course being just your gray and your black right here let me show you your other two so coming back this way you notice the black puck but underneath here is going to be give you that angle a pull handle for the galley there's your Goodyear Goodyear tires 50, 50 amp power core connection and this is the second pull handle, and that one says galley also. 
Sewer connections, you got one back here on the back. Of course, this is more than likely because the kitchen, of course, being on the back, and the main one from the bathroom is all the way up there. Of course, you also have the washing machine and so forth, so it's probably why you got the galley pool handles. So four point automatic leveling system. You got the leg in the front. This is the ground control 3.0 for the back. Fully enclosed underbelly rack and pinion slides let's come around to the back where you in fact have the two inch receiver with the additional tail light marker so that lets you know up front that you could in fact pull maybe an additional trailer back here on the back lipper component detachable ladder that blonde black puck right there is going to be the additional blindside camera prep really clean back of the rv it's pretty clean so come around to the campsite. That's the bracket for the outside kitchen that I was referencing that's underneath that king size bed. You have an LP quick disconnect right under there. Two very massive awnings. Covers just about the entire length of the coach. That's gonna be the additional blindside camera prep. The stairs are on the hydraulic assist makes it very very easy and of course you have a friction hinge door so if you go to open it for the first time and you feel pressure that's what it is it's just a friction hinge very large windows and both of them have the led light strips found underneath coming around to the front though you've got again your battery disconnect switch there's the additional view and if you were enjoying the outside with the the grill and you wanted a couple cold beverages with a nice fridge for you as well. Baggage doors are possibly yet one inch thick. And this one's the massive one, the two inches. And your latches are slam latches. Both of the propane tanks are located on one side of the RV. Makes it a lot easier compared to the others where sometimes you'll have a tank on both sides. Overall though, I like it. Besides the living area. I'm not a fan again of the television being turned off to the side. I'd rather have it looking straight at me. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.